1981, Coin and Colliery uh, was told it was going to close. Uh, Coin and Colliery is two miles approximately from this colliery here, which is St. John's. Now, the members of that colliery, the NUM, of the NUM, decided to come out on strike. Within a week, they had the promise of a national uh, strike. Margaret Thatcher straight away threw in the tower. This is 1984. Coin Ant is flattened, there's nothing left, and the majority of the men working there are now working at St. John's. And so all we've got left in this area now is St. John's. And we are in the same predicament. Now, two and a half miles from our pit bottom is what is known as uh, the Margan Coking Coal Field. And yet, you don't hear the NCB talking about investment and going for that coal field. What you hear about is going for it in Margam itself, which would cost approximately 200 million pound. Whereas if they went from our pit bottom, it would cost something like 50 million pound. So really, I mean, it's ludicrous to think that they're willing to spend all that money uh, on a new pit when they could do it just as well from an older pit. The only reason we can think of um, uh, doing it is privatisation and we know through experience of uh, days gone by what privatisation means in the coal industry. We've been on strike now 15 weeks and uh, there's a good chance that we'll be on strike for a lot longer. Our members at this colliery will strike for however long it, it'll take for the simple reason there is nothing left in this area except this colliery and the Margam Coalfield. We've got to fight for Margam Coalfield because there is nothing else.